right, what's going on everybody? Physio Trader here. I am traveling right now. So in this video, I want to go over a little more in-depth review of how I do my trades uh, with Lightspeed when I'm traveling because instead of having my three screens, I'm limited to just the screen that is on my laptop. So I want to give you a, a visual of that. So. All right, so over here you do have, um, I, I did make two trades today. I have a separate video talking about those. Uh, I made 50 here and I made 56 on Shopify. So um, not really going over the positions here or anything like that, but here is uh, my screen. And what you see here is all that I have access to. Unlike with my other videos, what I'm recording is limited. This is absolutely all I have access to. And so what I did was I took advantage of the hotkeys on, um, on Lightspeed so that I can do uh, more faster, uh, not just entering and exiting. So a lot of people think of hotkeys as just being the ability to enter or exit a trade, which is true. But uh, one thing that's beautiful about Lightspeed is there's hotkeys to do other things. So for instance, you can see here, this is my, <clears throat> this is my option tab. So I have multiple tabs. Um, and so this is like my option window. So everything on this chart is designed to show me options. I have my option order entry window. Uh, you can see I have no stock order entry window because I don't have the space to put them both on one. And so over here I do have my level twos of the underlying stock and I do have my level twos of the option chart, um, my orders, my position, um, and then here is the, the two minute or the five minute. Well, this is, I'm using this as the two minute, but I can pick any of these and then I have the five minute down here. Um, those charts are not really changed. And then over here I do have the option change. You can see here, that the option chain is um, much larger than the chart. But uh, what I'm doing is because of over here too, so traditionally with this, I need more space so that I can hit that put call. And uh, because I don't have that space, I have to, it's, it's not as easy to pick uh, what type of option I want. So I want to be able to just come over here and click the option I'm interested in. And then so let's say I'm looking for an $800 call. I'm going to click that $800 call, the whatever option I want lined up. And then I'm just going to click over into that chart to kind of minimize that because I've already picked the option one I'm looking for. And so that's basically the only way that I'm doing options right now. I'm not doing any advanced options while I travel or anything like that. So. So that's part one. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hotkey over to my stock side. So right there, I'm going to hotkey over to my stock side and you can see that the chart switched completely. Um, so now you can see I do have my two separate order entries. Um, I do have my order position, um, two separate level twos. I have an order window up here just to make sure I don't miss anything. And then I do have my, my charts. Now this is one thing I really, really like about um, Lightspeed is when so you can see here I have one chart, but I have two order or um, well, I have two order entries, each one. So this order entry is going to be focused here, and this order entry is going to be focused to whatever these level twos are. Now you should be familiar with this part. I do have my order entry right here, uh, or my level twos are only colored on the ones that I'm focused on. That means what I mean by focused is like so. If I click over here, you'll see the colors change. Um, but what happens is is that if I were to hotkey in a position, it, the hotkeys are going to go to whichever order has this. Now there's another thing I can do to switch is I can just hit the tab button and it will switch over here. So I click that tab and boom. Now the one thing I um, didn't mention, but if you did see, uh, what I like about this is that I have these charts set to focus to whichever one of these is in. So right here, this order entry is fixed. This order entry is fixed to this level two. This order entry is fixed to this level two. But this chart, I have it fixed to focus, which means that this chart is going to resemble whatever is lit up. And so let's say that I'm watching Tesla and I want to glance over Shopify. I hit the tab button. You can see the entire chart on both of these switch very quickly because, um, again, Lightspeed is designed to go real quick with that. And so that is one of my favorite um, aspects of uh, trading and it does give me a little bit more real estate to work with with my screen as opposed to just one now You may ask why don't I just get rid of this and keep one? I certainly can and I've done that before um, But let's say for instance, I really like Tesla And I'm watching for this to get below 80, 
you know, 803 because I'm looking at a potential buy right now. Um, now, this is not true, but let's say, for instance, I'm looking to get in at 803. I can either A, set an alert, which I don't, don't want to really waste the time, but I have other things I want to watch. I'm just going to toggle over. Let's say I'm going to watch NVIDIA. And then so over here, I'm just going to keep an eye on these level twos. And when I see 804, 803 start to come into mix, uh, let's say I start to get close to the order or a number I'm interested in, I just toggle over and I'm ready. Um, that way I can kind of keep an eye on both. It doesn't, um, now everybody has their own preference, so that's that's perfectly fine, but uh, that is kind of, um, that's my preference. That's, that's what's worked for me, and so I do that. And then like I said, so I can keep an eye on level twos. Let's see if 174 breaks, then I might be interested to go long. Um, but again, I'm over here watching uh, Tesla simultaneously. You see 174 is on the bid, so I'm still watching it. They still update in real time. I'm just only watching one chart at a time. And so, like I said, that's a really uh, big plus for me, especially for when I'm traveling. Now, when I'm uh, when I'm at my home setup, I just have it separate. I don't I don't need the charts to kind of focus to anything like that. But right now, I do have them focused on whatever level two, whatever chart I am uh, looking at. So that's one of the hotkeys. Another one of the hotkeys I have is actually change my account. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, I do have multiple accounts with Lightspeed. I have two. I have a Roth, and I also have my standard brokerage. And so I can actually hit a hotkey that just switches the account. Notice how the orders down here switch. doesn't change anything here. just changes the account. The account size, the volume, the amount of money that's in each account changes, as well as because this account right here is a Roth, I only have the ability to go long. I can you know, buy put options, but I can only go long stock. I don't have any margin buying power or anything like that. And then I come over here and I have access to everything that my account does. I can short, I have buying power, I have margin, etc. But so again, that's just one more thing that I can do really quickly to kind of switch between accounts. So you can see both, you know, just 50, 57 dollar uh, move today. So 106 dollars uh, for the day for the win. So uh, that is one other hotkey, and then I have one more. So I actually have a third page. Uh, which is dedicated. So right here, I have my standard equity page. I'll just kind of change this so it's not confusing. My standard equity page. Here is my option page, which focuses on my options. And then I have a scanning page. And this scanning page is kind of where I'm looking at the whole market in general. So I have just one more page. Um, this right here is the what's uh, Lightspeed's uh, platform called Risers and Fallers. What I'm doing is I'm just looking at the top eight. Um, I guess I could like make that bigger. So the top 10 now, I'll look at the top 10 uh, risers for the day, the top 10 fallers, basically the bigger percent drop based on money, not percentage, and then the top 10 volume, what has the top 10 volume. So right now the TQ is just most active, um, end phase is the highest up, up 17%. Oh wow, so let's, see, let's click this bad boy. And so okay, so look at end phase right now. So end phase is moving up. Um, very interesting. That's a big move. Enphase is actually making a break towards almost all-time highs. So that's a uh, that's uh, that's going to be interesting to see this one kind of play out. But anyway, and then so again, because I am limited on space, I'll just click out. And then I do have my eye again a pulse on the Qs and on the S and P 500, the spy over here. And then these two charts are linked. Just looking at the five minute, the fifteen minute. I've got my scanners over here. Uh, this guy. Uh, this is just ticker alerts, which just tells me when things hit uh, a new low for the day or a new high for the day. So this is another thing that uh, is a big benefit to Schwab, or I'm sorry, to Lightspeed that I like because it just gives you really fast alerts, um, you know, from the program itself. This is not like a keyboard or um, like a message board. This is just the program saying, hey, this stock is breaking out or this stock is getting, you know, pummeled. So uh, that is the three charts. I'm just going to hotkey back over to the one I like, which is I, I typically like to do is keep my eyes on this. And if at any point I decide I want to do an option, that's when I'm going to hotkey over to the option and, and go from there. So, but that is it for me. If you have any questions or if this, if you found this type of video helpful, you know, let me know in the comment section. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one.